We can now proceed to build the client component of Checkmate. To do that, we need to build a kernel driver, so go to All Programs, Windows Driver Kits, WDK 7600, Build Environments, Windows XP, and XP Checked. The difference between a checked environment and a free environment is the checked has debugging information included. A debug prints, for instance, included, whereas the free build is optimized and does not have the debugging information. So we're going to change directory to c colon checkmate slash timing tester v6 cut release. And then in this directory, we're just going to do build space dash c. This will begin building the kernel module. And when the kernel module is done building, it will exist in the i386 directory in the same timing tester v6 cut release directory. Alright, so once the build is done, there's two places we want to copy the files. The first is we want to copy the entire i386 directory to a shared folder or over to our, uh, our client system. <clears throat> I'm going to just cut this. I'm going to just uh, copy this over to a shared folder, which I use to copy files back and forth between the two systems. This is because if you use a network um, folder, that will get disconnected when you install the client because it temporarily disconnects the network. So I have my shared folder mounted at uh, z colon. And then the second place is we want to drop a copy of the binary into Teresius's Dropbox so that our currently running Teresius script, which we had running from before, will take that file and uh, change the name for Teresius to ingest it. So we're going to copy only the checkmate.sys into the Teresius, Teresius slash uh, Teresius trunk cut release. Dropbox folder. When we copy it over there, we'll see that the currently running Teresia script just automatically detected that it was there and renamed the file appropriately. <clears throat> now, on the client side, in order to install the kernel driver, we need to go to our network control panels. Then we go to the properties for the local area connection. Click properties. So click install. Then you select service and add. Then you select that you have a disk. Then you put in z colon shared in this case, because that's where I copied the files. But more importantly than the .sys file is the location of the checkmate.inf uh, and checkmate underscore m.inf. Those are used to tell the installer where to put the files. So z colon shared is where I copied those two. I'm going to hit OK and hit OK again. And then because this code isn't currently signed, uh, we can just hit continue anyway when it's prompting about the unsigned code. And then once it's done, it'll be installed. 